Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In this video, I just want to show you a few things about PowerShell. What I have with me is a Windows Server 2022. And if you look, and if you just look for PowerShell, you'll see this blue thing will show up. You open it up, you have this window. Okay, so if you run a PS version table, you will see the default version, most likely what you have is going to be a .5.1. Okay, and it says the PSE edition is the desktop edition. Okay, so now 5. edition is really an older version of the PowerShell, which is Microsoft Windows compatible. It's not cross platform. So since then, we actually have two different versions version 6 and version 7. And with the version 7, Microsoft has made this PowerShell as a cross-platform tool it supports a lot many more features and it's really towards the direction where Microsoft is going so what we would like to do in this video we would like to install our Windows PowerShell 7 so if I do Windows uh -oh, where did it go let's go next uh, this this uh, Microsoft Edge is hateful. Let's just go back to google.com and just go with uh, don't switch and then say uh, PowerShell 7 download. Okay. So if I go here, you see you have documentation installing PowerShell on Windows. Let's just go and go to that link. Hopefully it's going to be install, uh, useful. So when we are here, so you see download the installer package and to install the PowerShell on Windows, download the latest. Okay, so if I click on the latest, open in a new tab, it's going to give me uh, the github link okay that's where you have everything stored so I'm gonna go to the PowerShell main window and let's see if they have anything here are the all the installers so I'm gonna go and get the Windows 64 installer and that should be good enough so uh, Windows is saying it's a Windows uh, server 2012 plus so that should be good so let's see if we if we got anything for the download already okay nothing nothing got started so where is it where is my link okay let me go back one more time so download TLS probably I need to let's click on that one and not this link so let's <coughs> let's do the long time support version so dot now it started <coughs> the download of this particular software which is a parcel 7.0.7 .7. so again what we have by default is installation of parcel 5 now we're downloading parcel 7.7 .7. the file is not too big it's only about 86 uh, mb so it shouldn't take too long so now we're going to install the file and installation is pretty straightforward and what it does it's actually installing the parcel together with the older version of the parcel so it's not going to upgrade or overwrite so you will be able to use both parcel 5 and parcel 7 side by side so i'm just going to go and i'm just going to go up select a couple of things and have a parcel remoting and the add op open here context menu to explorer so i'm going to select all of that now keep going with installation and it should be a very standard familiar windows type installation and, and it should give you what we need very very quickly now one thing i want you to make sure that you understand the powershell cell 7 it does not work with the powershell ise let's see if we even have yeah we do have the powershell ise installed in a windows server 2022 so, if, so parcel isc is the integrated scripting environment right so here you could open a new new uh, window and here you can say type like get process let's see process and you know you have intellisense you have a whole bunch of things built in you can 
select this one click on uh, to run it will run everything give everything but this is really using the parcel 5.1 it you with the with the parcel 7 you cannot use the parcel isa so first of all over here let's just do again a ps uh, version and i'm using the tab so it still supports the tab completion and you see that now we have the parcel 7.0.7 .7 install so how are you going to use a development environment with this new parcel where the microsoft is going the parcel 5.1 will likely be deprecated at some point how, how are you going to use this right code so for this you really need the visual studio code which uh, uh editor that i absolutely love from microsoft is much lighter version looks very similar to uh, the the professional visual studio and it see it's only again 75 or 76 mb it shouldn't take too long to download so just go ahead and download that one so i can show you how to configure this one as well so once you download this one uh, you open up this file as well okay and then you run it just like the other one Okay, so we're opening this file and uh oh so let's see it's uh, accept the agreement next 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 and for this one i'm also going to select a couple more and then just install my visual studio code in my windows server 2022 and that should give me a lot of a lot of power to write code to write script whatever we want so let's launch the visual studio code at this time and uh, let's see what happens so there we go it's probably opening up my visual studio code just give it a minute be patient and once we have our visual studio code available to us you will see this window so from here what i typically like to do i'll say open folder and then uh, maybe go down to downloads and create a new folder Let's see if it's let me create and i'm going to say pwsh and that's for powershell and i'll just select folder so that will give me a really nice folder structure in here and i'm going to trust the author and over here what you can now create more folders and files whatever you like so here if you go down there it says new file you click on new file and then let's say my test pwsh dot ps1 now ps1 is the extension for the powershell if i hit it's going to create this file and look at that here is a beautiful feature of this particular uh visual studio code it says hey i understand that you're going to write some powershell command in here a command let's in here do you want to install the recommended extension for the powershell and i recommend that you do install it so just hit and it will bring up this nice little installation wizard and it will automatically install and this is going to give you a lot of nice features too it will give you the color coding intellisense you know a, a lot of cool features so i highly recommend that you install that one and now it says that it's installed and that's how much it took okay so now uh so here is saying hey you you have an old version we knew that we have installed a long-term support version so that's okay i'll say not now and in here what you see you also got the ps and then this uh terminal window over here you can also do your ps then version table hit enter so you see you can also run your partial commands down here but who'll be running this through the script so over here We'll come down over here do p s version table and see all that stuff is showed up and then i can i can highlight this one and you see this button right here this is for run i can click on run and this one just ran this and give me the output as well so for example if i do here and then get and let's see you see all the uh, suggestions and intelligences built in and then say process let's see it's, it's came back over here and then i can if i only want to run this portion i can again select this one go back and then let's say run selection so that will only run the selected portion of the code that i have and it's just outputted the the everything that's running okay the gate process so that's about it that i have for you for this video
so what I went over is Windows 5.1 is the older version which is still uh, installed by default in many Windows system that is Windows specific and not cross platform and today you should be using uh, PowerShell 7 that's where Microsoft is going and it is a cross platform you can use the same tool for multiple different operating system like Linux and Mac as well so hopefully this one was useful if you like this video give me a like and uh, enjoy learning PowerShell Thank you.